Welcome to the Immigration.ca live stream series. My name is Andrea and I'm here with immigration lawyer Colin Singer. Colin is managing partner of Immigration.ca and SkilledWorkers.com. Today we're actually doing our first live stream on Instagram as well. If for all our platforms, you can follow us, we're Immigration.ca. So today's topic is going to be the top jobs in Canada under express entry in 2018. So just to give you a brief structure, we're going to start by discussing the correlation of the top jobs in Canada with those who received invitations. And then we're going to go more into depth with uh, the labor market and see which occupations are in demand. So Colin, I, as everyone is aware, the federal government plans to welcome nearly one million immigrants over the next three years. And nearly half of that, or half of that, will be coming from skilled worker immigration. So what are the typical positions of people who received invitations for well, very interesting. Last year, 2017, there were about 65,000 invitations issued uh, to individuals who applied for express entry immigration. Uh, the majority of the positions, we could, we've summarized the top 10 occupational groups. Uh, and what strikes us, what jumps out on top uh, that received the most invitations last year, uh, were the professional occupations in the uh, natural and applied sciences. That's a, a broad uh, description covering um, predominantly software engineers. It's a lot of the IT professionals, software engineers, information systems analysts and consultants and uh, a lot of the sub-occupations. Interesting was that there were close to 10,000 invitations uh, issued to uh, individuals in that broad occupational description. Second, uh, that came in number two, were the technical occupations related to natural and applied sciences. Um, those uh, are a, a broad uh, occupational group. Uh, you can see this information on our article that we've uploaded today. Uh, and you'll be able to go into the descriptives of what kinds of occupations are in that broad occupational group. Close to 3,500 invitations were issued. Uh, third were the administrative and financial supervisors and many administrative positions, uh, close to 3,350 uh, occupational uh, individuals in those occupations were issued uh, in invitations to apply for permanent residence under express entry. Number four were the professional occupations in business and finance, uh, close to again uh, 3,340 uh, invitations were issued. Fifth on the list were specialized middle management occupations, a broad range of individuals in that broad category 2,500 invitations were issued in that uh, occupational description. Uh, number six on the list were service supervisors in specialized service occupations. Uh, number seven on the list were retail sales supervisors and specialized sales occupations. Now, it's important to note sales uh, positions are uh, able to apply for immigration to Canada under express entry, but it's important that it's a high enough level of, 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 the, of the job. Uh, what would not be uh, qualified to apply are individuals who are sales clerks, uh, sales persons in a retail setting. Uh, those types of occupations don't have the qualifications to qualify under express entry system. So you need to be in the supervisory, sales supervisors. Uh, retail sales supervisors are on the list uh, at number seven. Uh, number eight were professional occupations in educational services. So if you're in the educational field, many opportunities for you to qualify. And uh, really the, a, a good number of individuals received invitations to apply last year. Uh, rounding out the list at number nine were middle management occupations uh, and number ten were industrial, electrical and construction trade occupations. So a lot of opportunities for people in the construction trades um, and again that's just the top ten positions uh, that uh, we covered uh, out of a total of about 65,000 invitations that's what the roadmap looked like last year if you were applying into the express entry system. Those are the top 10 occupations that received invitations to apply. Okay. So I guess, should we go into 2018? Yeah, so what we want to now, what we now want to um, cover is what Canada's labor market looks like from the top most 
uh, interesting positions with the most potential. What we're going to do is cover uh, the top eight positions uh, that Canada's labor market currently offers. Perfect. Okay, so I guess should we start with sales representatives? Sure, number okay. one on the list. Sales representatives. So, I mean, a good sales representative can make a business successful, and there's so many vacancies at the moment that we're seeing. So often we get a salary range. So I mean, it can range between fifty-two to sixty-four thousand, but we need to remember that there's commissions and other incentives. So obviously, this is just a base. And as Colin mentioned earlier, when it comes to a sales representative, for example, it could be a managerial position, a supervisor, wholesale trade, a technical. Uh, you know, that kind of position, as Colin mentioned, not, for example, a sales clerk. Right. Okay. So I guess... Uh, so number, number two on the list uh, are accountants, uh, individuals in the accounting field. Uh, obviously, the bigger the business, the more important the accountant becomes. Uh, and that's why this occupation is really the second most in-demand skilled worker position in Canada overall. Um, and typically, accountants have a designation in Canada. Uh, a chartered professional accountant is, is known as a CPA. Uh, obviously, if you're a, a foreign uh, professional and you're looking to become credentialed in Canada, each province handles the licensing requirements. Not everyone needs to become a formal CPA. Uh, so it's important to go into the uh, provincial uh, regulatory body that you're interested in going to and, and seeing how your credentials from uh, overseas might be uh, looked at in terms of trying to qualify uh, whether you have to go back to school or not or whether you can sit professional exams. There are a number of um, uh, treaty agreements and uh, similar, uh, similar education systems that exist uh, overseas depends on where you've done your studies so it's important to look at each province uh, that you're looking to head into again the salary ranges from sixty three to seventy five thousand dollars that's for someone uh, with I would say uh, less than uh, five years of experience Okay. so I guess moving on to engineering project managers sure number three on the list okay so Canada and Canada we do have a booming housing market and also the government, um, yeah, they're, planning and they're planning and they're implementing many uh, major infrastructural projects. So there are tons of opportunities at the moment for engineering managers. So, uh, so if you, I guess a, an engineering manager could expect to, for a salary, could be ranged from seventy-four to ninety-two thousand. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, also the the engineering uh, has a, a wide scope in the manufacturing industry. So uh, currently Canada has a, a, a very robust labor market. Uh, our unemployment rate is uh, just under 5.8%, uh, the last figures. Uh, so we've, we have a progressively uh, curing labor market. Uh, each month uh, we're seeing very interesting numbers of, of new jobs being created. The manufacturing industry and as Andrea mentioned the construction industry is a big employer of uh, engineering project managers and other types of engineers in that particular broad occupational group. Uh, number four on the list were uh, business analysts. Are currently a business analyst has a great opportunity in Canada. Uh, constantly looking, business analysts are constantly looking for ways to make a business run smoothly. Uh, we've got some major business uh, consulting groups in Canada. Accenture is obviously one that pops to our mind. Uh, so if you're a business analyst overseas uh, and you're working uh, in the field, uh, likely you have experience working for one of the biggies. Uh, you know, a young business analyst is typically going to be in the seventy-three to eighty-seven thousand dollar range. That's under five years of experience. Um, there's professional occupations in management consulting, systems analysts and consultants, uh, economists and economic policy research. It's a pretty wide range of uh, occupational groups, and that was our number four on our list that we have. Okay, and then moving on to number five would be IT project managers. So an IT project manager needs more than just IT skills. I mean, they need to be able to manage their time, their staff, and projects as well. And IT is an in-demand occupation. Uh, I mean, one can expect to make between 92000 to 114000 Number six on the list are account managers. They're in charge of ensuring existing customer base uh, are being well served. Uh, account managers have a wide application. 
uh, typically an account manager will earn in the range of $75,000 to $92,000. Okay, moving on to software engineers, obviously more, it, this goes beyond just apps on your smartphone. It goes to major, you know, developing major computer programs as well. Uh, I mean, they're crucial to the development of such programs. And so many industries rely on software at the moment. And so it's not just tech companies who are looking for software engineers. There's opportunities with other companies as well. And one can expect to make between eighty-three to ninety-three, or sorry, ninety-nine thousand dollars. A lot of opportunities in that particular industry. Uh, eight on our list, uh, rounding out our list of eight occupations, is a recruiter. Interestingly enough, recruiters are in big demand. They have great employment opportunities right now. Um, an economy that's booming uh, really depends on a good recruiter uh, to help uh, growing companies fill uh, their vacancies for, for those occupations that are hard to fill. Um, there's a lot of expansion going on in our uh, Canadian economy right now. Uh, we've got, uh, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, a, a declining unemployment rate. Uh, new jobs are being created uh, each month, uh, some months more than others, of course. Uh, so uh, that, that brings us to uh, the kind of work we're doing at immigration.ca. Uh, let's talk about, well, first of all, uh, all our, uh, it's interesting to know, we, through our in-house um, skilledworker.com and global recruiters of Montreal, we work with a lot of Canadian employers to help them uh, fill their uh, labor market needs. Uh, we have certain requests on, uh, on an ongoing basis for individuals in, in a wide range of occupations. So we are in a position to work with Canadian employers and help them find top talent handling both the uh, recruitment side. Uh, skilled Worker is the leader in foreign recruitment, skilledworker.com. Uh, take a look at our website, skilledworker.com, as well as grnmontreal.com. You'll see some of the uh, excellent work that we're doing in helping Canadian employers identify top talent that is coming from overseas. Largely, these are uh, in, in the fields where it is difficult to find uh, Canadian labor. Uh, talk about some of our employment services that we offer individual clients who are working with us in trying to immigrate to Canada. Okay, so we can start with CV assistance. We provide them with a Canadian-style resume, one that, you know, that Canadian employers do prefer to navigate. Uh, we provide a cover letter. Uh, we also provide a database of potential hiring employers. Obviously, you, our, our client would choose the industries and the provinces that they want to include. And also, we also provide uh, tools and other tips on finding a job in Canada. And Colin, there is actually a new service that we're going to be providing. And what exactly will we be doing? Well, starting April 1st, we're, we're pleased to announce uh, all of our individual clients who are coming to Canada and, and in, in hiring our services to help them navigate both the immigration and the job search side of things. In addition to the services that <clears throat> we just described, we're going to be including a 60-minute live face-to-face -face tutorial on how to use LinkedIn to help you find a job in Canada. Uh, during this one-to-one -one individualized session, our in-house employment advisors will guide you on how to identify hiring managers, find job alerts, and develop job leads that are in your field and that other as well as other very valuable strategies in how to find a job in Canada. So overall we're, we're really confident that the uh, additional accessory services that we're including in all our mandates that go far and above the immigration side of things, the very important how to find a job in Canada, we're really pleased to be a part of that process for you and helping maximize your chances of success to Canada. All right. So, I mean, if you have completed our evaluation, please do contact us so we can discuss this further with you as well. And uh, as always, uh, thank you. Uh, I mean, if, thank you for, follow, for following us on Facebook and Instagram. If you're not, please do. Oh, we, other, uh, we have other social media as well: uh, Twitter, LinkedIn. Uh, is there? No, I think I think that pretty well covers what we wanted to uh, share with you today. Uh, look forward to our next live stream, which is going to be uh, announced uh, in, a, in a couple of weeks' time. We already have our, our, our targeted topic that we know we're going to uh, share with you and you're going to find very interesting. So, well, Thank you very much for joining us today, and we'll see you in the next live stream. Thanks very much. Have a wonderful day.